Hey there, it's Paul, back from Big Horde Woodworks. Thank you for joining me again today. I'm going to be working on three charcuterie boards. Uh, first part is going to be the Lichtenberg burn and getting them ready and having the epoxy set into them. And the second part will be getting them cut out, sanding and finishing them off and you'll be able to see exactly what they look like. So stay tuned and we'll see you at the end. Being new to Lichtenberg burning, I'm still trying to figure out what works best. The wait time for this electrolytic solution seems to be around maybe 7-10 minutes. Uh, and as you can see with this first clip, I clearly didn't wait long enough. And then when I finally got a good burn, the camera decided to go out of focus. The rest of the time is just spent moving the leads around and applying more solution until a pattern emerges that you like. It can be tempting to overdo it at this point, but this is really all just about a learning process and trying to figure out what looks good, what doesn't, what works well, what burns well. Um, I'm using some poplar. I didn't want to go really expensive on the wood here because I still don't know what I'm doing. So I'd like to get a little more uh, Lichtenberg burning under my belt before I try and work into a piece of wood that's, you know, 40 bucks a, a, a board instead of six. So uh, I, I just love the way that this turns out. I love the patterns that emerge out of this. And you can really see really neat how this just travels towards one another. I don't want it to arc and get too far. So when it does get close, uh, I'm, I'm shutting it off. Uh, I don't want it to burn real deep, although there are places where I did let it burn for quite a while after it got next to each other and really gave a really good, solid, deep burn that, uh, that shows up really, really well when I put the acrylic on here. Okay, so the one thing that I think I'm learning here is that there needs to be a lot longer soak time on these. Um, I, I brushed it on right away and I tried to turn it on. All it did is just really evaporate the water. So um, the last burn that I just did, which was right here, um, you see that? Um, that was, uh, the water had kind of finally set in enough where I think it was finally started to make its track. I now think that I might have this, I, I might have it wet enough where it will want to take off on its own. So I'm going to spread them apart again and try and see if that will take off now, now that their water is really kind of soaked in. Okay, so I think it's obvious. I totally don't have a clue what the hell I'm doing, but that's working really well, so we'll keep it going.
thank you for joining me on the first part of a two-part video. In the second part, I'm going to cut them out, sand them down, get a nice finish on them, and you'll be able to see what they look like when they're all done. So, uh, if you haven't already, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I'll post a video or two over here from my channel that you can watch in the meantime. So, until next time, we'll see you then, and you'll be able to see what they look like when they're all finished.